Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Road to 100,000. So, last week, we did 1470 points, bringing us to 88,755. Um, you know, we were, we were, we did, we're doing pretty well right now. We're, we're still in danger of not making our goal. We're less than a month away. <laughs> I don't know what to expect for these last... We have four more episodes after this episode coming out. Episode 36 is going to be pretty much the episode that comes out the day before the deadline. And then anything that happens on that Sunday, I have to count as well. So that'll be a separate episode. I'm not exact. I I don't know. Because I've been, I, I've been repeatedly saying by June 15th. I'm not saying on June 15th. So I don't think I'm going to be counting anything that happens on that day as towards the goal. So I better get it done by the 14th uh, before midnight that night. Which, luckily for me, I took the 15th off because I <laughs> because it's my birthday. I'm not gonna work that day. Plus it's E3, and I kind of wanna kind of wanna watch that as well. And I can I can afford to take a day off. But let's get to the race now. Or the road. <laughs> let's get back to the road. So 88,755. That's where we were at at the end of last week. The first game that we played this week was The Walking Dead Season 2 on the Xbox One. Like I mentioned last week, I was probably three minutes short of getting of getting an achievement last week for this game. And I got it at like 12.03 in the morning on Sunday morning. So, yeah, this was definitely going to make it on this week. <laughs> Luckily for me, I decided to finish off the game. So we finished, we got the last nine achievements in Walking Dead Season 2, worth 250 points, bringing our gamer score total up to 89,005. And we can add the we can add Walking Dead Season 2 to the wall of completion. I should probably work on the Xbox 360 version. I highly doubt Season 3 might come to the 360. I don't know. It, it, it'll really be... I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> but, but that is an extra, what, 400, 500 points for that one? It wouldn't hurt to do that again. Just get 500 extra points. <laughs> I mean, right now, uh, I'll take anything I can get. So... The next game we played after that was Batman Arkham Asylum on the Xbox 360. Not the Game of the Year edition, not the one I'm playing on Legacy, the other version, the, the normal version with, with different achievements. Finally beat the story in that. It took me a little longer to actually get the collectible achievements because I, I screwed up when finding them. So I had to walk through certain areas like three times in order to find all the, all the collectibles. But ended up doing that, got... Got 20 achievements in Batman worth 505 points, bring our weekly total up to 755, and our gamer score total up to 89,510. So now, now, now we're getting to the point in the week where I know I'm possibly going to hit 90,000. So I need to start finding achievements or finding certain achievements that can get me certain point values so that if I get to that spot, I can immediately unlock it in a video. But the next game that we played was State of Decay Year One on the Xbox One. Continuing to play through the storyline, I screwed up, so I started over, which doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. But I screwed up. I screwed up in a major way, and so I just had I I tried to carry over a Xbox 360 file, but I think I had to do the same thing I did for Minecraft, which is to go to the 360 version first and then say Imp export this, then go back to the Xbox One version and say import this. I'm not exactly sure if that will allow me to unlock certain achievements. I highly doubt it will. But we got five achievements in State of Decay worth 115 points, bring our weekly total up to 870, and our gamer score total up to 89,625. So yeah, we're, we're getting, we're, we're definitely at this rate, we, we're not even halfway through all the games and we have less than 400 points to get to 90,000, which is, it, it, which is creepy because we hit, what, 90,000 in episode 26? This is episode 32? That's six episodes? Yeah. So, the next game that we played was LA Cops on the Xbox One. This is another one of those games that I've been repeatedly talking about that are supposedly easy 1,000 point achievement games. So, played it. There, I have most of the achievements. I have two remaining, but I did get 11 achievements in this game worth 800 points bring our weekly total up to 1670 and our gamer score total up to 90,425. So, I did pass it. Just like before though, I did not get the 90,000th point in this game. But let me explain what happened. 
So I got a couple achievements at LA Cops because I knew that, you know, most of the achievements for LA Cops are 100 points. And so I used that to value. It's like, all right, I have 89.65. I can get three achievements and then work on the remaining 75 through other games. Uh, there was another 50 point achievement. So I was like, all right, so I have what? Like I had 45 points to get to the end at one point. So I had I had an achievement lined up that was 25 points, but I needed two achievements that were worth 10 or a 20 point achievement. So I played through Grand Theft Auto San Andreas again. And there are still some very easy achievements. I have not really touched this game since we got the 80,000th point. <laughs> but uh, there were a couple easy achievements in this game. I got two of them worth 20 points, bringing our weekly total up to 1690 and our gamer score total up to 90,445. However, when I got those two points, those two achievements, which I, I honestly thought I had 89,955 uh, at that point, got the two achievements, all of a sudden I was at 89,995. So I had, I was five points away, not what I was thinking at all. So I was in panic mode, kind of, because I was like, all right, now I need to find a five point achievement that I can easily get. And I found it. Didn't really take that long. In Limbo on the Xbox 360. Very easy achievement in this game, and I will show that right now. All right. We're live. <laughs> We're doing it live right now. So currently I have, and I hope it says the correct number, 89,995. I kind of screwed up my numbering. I don't know how. I don't know how I screwed up my numbering because I had 89,955. I got two 10 point achievements and I somehow ended up with this. I must, something must've been out of date because I am, I'm now at this or I didn't count right, but I need to get a five point achievement. Luckily there is one right here. The altitude is attitude achievement for, I could have showed it for limbo. This wasn't my first choice for it. It was actually fable two was going to be the first choice, but apparently I need to reinstall the DLC because I deleted it in order to play my file. So the one, yeah, right there. Exploration off the ground. Five points. It is very early on in Chapter 2. In fact, I just started the game and I've been playing for probably a minute. So there is a rope right there. I can see it. I need to jump to it and grab it. Yay! And there it is. That little orb right there. Once I get that thing. Do I have to swing? I do have to swing. Once I grab that little orb thing, then I will get my points. All right, one last swing. And there it is. Ad uh, altitude is attitude. Once that goes away, I hope my number does not update wrong because that should be it. We should now be at 90,000. Woohoo! Yay! Yay, so I now have 90,000 points. Or I have a little more than 90,000 going off of my math that I currently have here. Five points in limbo. Bring our weekly total up to 1695 and our gamer score total up to 90,450. So yeah, I, I, I managed to record 90,000. I'm now over 90,000, so we are in the home stretch. Like I said, the next goal is 99,000 because, because of one game that I have that's an easy thousand points that I'm saving for last, which should be very apparent for anyone that knows anything about achievements. Uh, that I, why I'm uh, not 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 why I'm saving it for last, but possibly the game that I'm talking about. So we're we're getting very very close, especially since we it took us six weeks to get ten thousand points. If we can if we can over the next four weeks get less than that, if I can hit ninety nine thousand by episode thirty six, we'll do it. The, the I mean it's, it, there'll be no issues with week 37 the final episode that's only really one day long so the next game after limbo was dying light this this is the game that i was planning on getting the 90,000th point in this is the game i had a 25 point achievement worth or that i was going for it was the get all the text collectibles achievement which took me a couple hours to do because i missed a lot during the normal playthrough but I managed to find most of them except for one. When I realized I, was, I only had one left, I decided, yeah, I'll save that one for the 90,000th point. Then all the stupid things with Grand Theft Auto happened, and I bet that became a non-issue. But 
right after I got the Limbo achievement, I went back to Dying Light and just said, well, I still have one left. Might as well get this easy achievement worth 25 points. Bring our weekly total up to 1720 and our gamer score total up to 90,475. So, yeah, Dying Light's still fun. I'm enjoying it even more right now. I, I, hate, I hate dying, though, <laughs> despite it being part of the name. There's a lot of achievements left in that game I still need to get that are, like, specific achievements, like, kill a zombie doing this, or kill a zombie doing this. So, I can definitely get some more points in that game, but I think, I think, uh, most of these games that we just fin that we just did, like, Batman Arkham Asylum, Dying Light, I think they're, I think they're about run dry for the moment. If I get any points in those, they're gonna be after the contest ends. I don't really feel like spending time going for 20 point achievements that'll take way too long. Right now I need to be time conservative with my achievements. But the next game after Dying Light was The Wolf Among Us on the Xbox One. This was a fun game. I really like this game. I like the setting, I like the characters. How did I not know anything about this game until I heard that it was just made by Telltale after I started playing Walking Dead Season 1. But this was this one was pretty much down to the wire. And by down to the wire, I mean I finished it at like <laughs> I finished it at like 11:30 last night. So we got 35 achievements in this game worth 1,000 points, bring our weekly total up to 2720, and our gamer score total up to 91,475. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very fun game. I wonder what season two is going to behold, if there is a season two. I don't know. I, I, I would definitely play this. It's making me start to think about the other Telltale games, like Game of Thrones and Tales of the Borderlands. Both games I have not touched, but make me very interested now. Not only because they have very easy achievements to get, but because they seem like they'd be fun. And I, re I need to get back into Game of Thrones because I haven't watched any of last season or any of this season. The last episode I saw, I think, was Season 3, Episode 10, so I'm kind of behind. And I'm playing through Borderlands 2 right now, so Tales of the Borderlands would also be fun. So in Borderlands 2, which is still fun, um, got four achievements in that game worth 65 points, bring our weekly total up to 2785, and our gamer score total up to 91,540. So, yeah, we did. We did a lot this week. <laughs> we we got past 90,000. We went over that by an extra 1540. So, this was our second best week we've had. 88 achievements this one week thanks to Batman and LA Cops and The Wolf Among Us. Uh but percentage-wise, we went from we went from what? We we went up to 82.3% towards our goal which an increase is which is an increase of 5.8 percent so yeah that's way over pace which is still obviously 1.93 percent our time our time to completion though is at 91.71 percent like i said we are very close to the end of the contest and we need to hurry up we're over 90 we're over 90 percent towards the goal now but we did pass 80 percent towards our goal in the percentage wise we are now 4500 points behind pace if my math is to be assumed correct we should be at 9640 right now but we're at 91540 so yeah 4500 points so we are getting close can we do this and we need to get over the next four weeks 7460 points is it possible Poss yeah possibly i mean I think the big contributor this week was the fact that I was sick on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I was able to, I was unable to go to work. And so what did I do? I just spent all day playing video games. I, I'm not I, I I refuse to take another sick day for a long time, especially since I'm out of sick leave right now. <laughs> but but I need to hurry up. I have 7,460 points to get over the next four weeks. If I can get more than that by the end of week 36, we will hit our goal. I'm just trying to look through the games that I have right now. I mean, we still have plenty of Borderlands. We have plenty of State of Decay. Um, looking at my list right now. I'm looking at my, my list of games that I can play through. 
still have Call of Duty Modern Advanced Warfare. I, I should probably continue playing through the storyline for that one because those would be some very easy points to get. I still have Saints Row, the expansion for that, which <laughs> I guess I could say that, but I don't know. It'd probably break my no swearing rule. <laughs> then there's Shadow of Mordor, and I haven't played that at all either. I don't think that is the game that I'm saving. Um, get the more. Granted, that'll five. I have Assassin's Creed Unity, which I, I finally preloaded onto my Xbox 360, or Xbox One, so I could start playing through that. Not to mention, I still have Borderlands 2, like I mentioned, and Borderlands the pre-sequel, which I've never played before. I could probably find a copy of Borderlands the pre-sequel for the 360 as well and double down the points. But those are all very long games. I need short games. I do have a couple short games that I could play through, so... I might work on those first, or at least work on those and then work on the long ones at the same time. Because Borderlands, I'm what, level, level 8, level 9? <laughs> I'm nowhere close to being anywhere done with that game. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Unity, I have no clue how long that game's going to take. Call of Duty probably has another 4 or 5 hours just for the storyline alone. Not so sure about the Saints Row expansion or Shadow of Mordor. Hmm. I just need to find... I mean, I could, I could go for, I could go for, um, Walking Dead Season 2 and Wolf Among Us on the 360. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a thousand points just for those two games, for games that I pretty much already know the outcome to, so that would be pretty easy to play through. Hmm. I don't know. Can we do this? I mean, for my list, I have at least... Oh, not to mention my two Gamefly games I still have. Shrek the Third and the other unnamed one that I still haven't opened up yet. So I know I can get at least... Possibly 3,000 points very easily. Which, now that I think about it, is about half of what we need left. So, <laughs> we might actually have a chance. I remember back, like, what? Week 13 through 20? I was like, oh, if we make it, that'd be amazing. Now we actually have a chance to make it. I mean, if we looked at the last, we look at the last four weeks, we got about 67,000 points, 6,700 points. That's very close to what we need. Just a little bit extra oomph on that. I mean, if we go back five weeks, that, yeah, that'll definitely put us over. So, 91, 540. 88 achievements, an increase this week of 27.85. The, the second best week we've had since we, since week 26 when we broke 80,000. I guess when we get close to those goals, decide to kick it up a little bit. But we have four weeks remaining. We have to do this by the 14th of June, I guess. <laughs> Not, we need to have it done on the 14th of June at 11.59 p.m. Hopefully we do at least 2,000. That's the goal. At least, well, that's still the goal. 2,000 per week, and we can definitely make it by 37. We can slack off a little bit, so maybe 1,800 points a week. 1,850. Yeah, that, that, let's go with that. 1,850 is the new goal. Anything less than that is kind of failing, or we have to make it up on the, on the following week. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.